about four years ago, I guess, we started saying, if we did do a video game, this time it'd be a totally hands-on project. So it started a while back with Trey having this idea of making a role-playing game around South Park. We produced an animatic that demonstrated the game that Matt and Trey wanted to make. Ah, tis the new kid. Please enter the wizard's humble lair. Watch out for cat poop. They didn't do the traditional hook up with a publisher, do a licensing deal. They went out and started talking to developers directly. And we were one of those developers. And so they stopped by the studio. They had these ideas for the game. They said, can you make it look like the show? So we put together a prototype for them and basically showed them, look, we can make one of your characters run around in the world and it can look just like the show. When the current gens came out, we thought that they were finally capable of doing a game that looked just like the show. That was sort of the thing that excited us is you could sit there and play the game and be walking around the classroom or walking around Cartman's backyard. And if someone was to walk in the room and watch you play the game, they would think you're watching an episode of South Park. It has been harder than you'd think. Again, South Park, the whole look of it, it's like, it looks so crappy. But to make it look that just that authentic crappiness that you know. In the early days of production, we would meet in the conference room and we would show Matt and Trey what the game was gonna look like and we would have people from the crew afterwards walk up to me and say, is that a new episode? Like, I've never seen that before. So we know that we're on the right track. They'll have their guys over at South Park animate it for us so that we can see exactly what they want because we learned early on that they're very particular and they should be. Ha, 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 dude, that was awesome. You were all like, bee, and the cloud was all like, nah, nah. <laughs> you were gonna be a new kid in the town because we wanted you to have your own identity. I hate when a character talks for you. You know, and I hate when I'm this character and then I hear my character go, I'll get down there to the planet and take care of them. Like, That's not what I would say. That's not how I would say it. So, you're the new kid everyone is talking about. What's your name? He doesn't talk, Elf King. He thinks he's hot shit or something. It is a new adventure. It's a, it's a new South Park experience, very much the same way Bigger Longer Uncut was a brand new movie. It wasn't just a bunch of episodes thrown together. So a lot of what we go over are you know key elements of the franchise. and use them in a new and exciting way and not just you know recycle what we did in the episodes. We always loved in the show when the kids were playing a game. We have a lot of different shows where they're playing either FBI and cops or they're playing like Lord of the Rings. So they're just playing this really simple game, kind of like Capture the Flag, but it's basically the stick, the stick of truth. And whoever has it controls the universe. And it's obviously just the game, but in a normal South Park way, everything gets escalated to ridiculous proportions. Don't gaze at it too long, for its power is too much for mere mortals to look at. One of the kind of visceral joys of playing a video game is getting powerful. In one of the Zelda, it's like you become a master of the wind, like infamous, you have electricity as your weapon. When Sick of Truth, we made it farts, which is probably not the biggest surprise, but. And it was really important that you didn't just press a button to fart, but that it was analog. No, you need to like feel it go out of your asshole. Allow me to demonstrate. <laughs> yeah! That was a mi million to one shot. I sure hope the gold key is in there, or else the quest for the silver key has been all for nothing. I sure hope the gold key is in there, or else the quest for the silver key has been all for nothing. This is a video game, it, it just, we can't do everything. So we're doing the story and we're working on the characters and we're trying to make it the South Park thing, but it's really such a bigger thing. Video games, definitely a humbling experience. They're a bear to get your head around how to put one together. Yeah, this new kid may be a juice bag, but he sure can fight. Shut up, Scott, nobody cares what you think. We're hoping that we make a game that's worthy of the show, and I don't know if we'll be able to pull it off, but that's what we're really trying to do. I hope we don't get a fucking four on GameSpot. That's what I hope. That'll piss me off. Don't show that to games. <laughs> How badly did they rape you? I shall make haste to Koopa Keep. Shut up, Mom. Not now. Sunshine! How am I supposed to do all this? Why? It's a trap!